I don't even know if this is a big trade or not, but it is actually a big trade. Dallas and the Knicks did make a trade this week. Przingis, um, Hardaway Jr. and Courtney Lee traded them to Dallas. And Dallas got back Dennis Smith, DeAndre Jordan, and Wes Matthews. I don't know what to make of this trade so much. I think the Knicks got a little bit of veteran in, in them now. They got a nice young point guard. But they did get rid of their friend, one of their guys that was supposed to be a cornerstone for their for their their team, really. Uh, and Perzingis, he's gone to Dallas. And uh, they, lost Hard they lost Hardaway Jr., which was probably one of their better scorers on their team. They got back Dennis Smith, which is cool. They have a nice young point guard. But they have the they have DeAndre Jordan, which means now they have three good centers where one of them is just not getting any playing time at all. Wes Matthews, I guess, is supposed to take Hardaway Jr.'s position on for the Knicks. I guess he can, but I, I just don't know what to make of this trade. Dallas looks like they got away with a good trade, good team for next year. The Knicks did get a draft pick from Dallas for next year, so I guess it kind of balances out a little bit. But I feel like there's just too much going on in the center position for the New York Knicks. The reason why I bring this up is Fantasy League, which is usually where we're trying to keep our focus on as much as we care about the real world. But Fantasy World, that means this. That means that if you have one in New York centers, you're probably trying to figure out whether you should drop them or not. I don't know what's out there. You could have a, as I said, you could have an eight-team league. Eight-team league, you might think about dropping him. Uh, Ten-team league, still don't drop him, even though you're probably going to get a drop-off if you're talking about either, either, uh, shoot, either, um, what's his face, uh, DeAndre Jordan. If you have DeAndre Jordan on your team, then you might want to, you're going to want to keep him, but just know that the production is probably going to fall off. A little bit less rebounds. Um, a little bit, you know, rebounds really is all he does. He just does a lot of rebounds. You're going to lose a lot of those in your fantasy league team. Uh, if you want to try to sell him, I suggest you do. He might even get bought out of his contract, which means that he might end up on a good team. So you might want to keep him around and try to tolerate him for the next couple of weeks. But uh, if he gets bought out, then definitely pick him up because he's probably going to end up going to... A team that wants to win a championship um, you know who knows Dennis Smith is going to a team that's not going to make the playoffs uh, he has time to mesh with his team and probably you know start to work a little bit better with some of the other Knicks that are out there uh, Knox they also have a lot of room for money they could get two max players but that's not going to happen until next year so I don't know I don't know what to make of this trade it looks like fun though it looks like a lot of a lot of fun for next year's teams Next year's team, next year's Knicks, next year's Mavericks are going to enjoy the benefits of this trade. If you ask my opinion, I think Dallas is going to enjoy it a lot more than the Knicks. And that's how I feel about the trade. Anthony Davis trade has not happened yet, though. That's what I'm going to be more interested in. Uh, do I think the trade is going to happen? I think so. If, is he going to go to the Lakers? I don't know if he's going to go to the Lakers. A lot of people think he's going to the Celtics, but he cannot go to the Celtics this year. It is a rule in the NBA that you're not allowed to trade for two max. That you're not allowed to have. Basically, him and Kyrie aren't able to to be on the same team together this year. It's not allowed because of their contracts. Um, that being said, Celtics are going to be crossed out. Is he going to stay in uh, with the Pelicans? That's a possibility because the Pelicans don't have to accept any trade that happens. They could just keep him. But chances are, if they do keep him, he's probably not going to play for the rest of the season, which means you're going to want to drop your you're going to want to drop him from your fantasy league team, unless it's a keeper league. Then of course you're going to want to keep him. Is he going to go to the Lakers? Who knows if he's going to go to the Lakers? The Lakers are making are trading everybody in their team to to get this guy that's not named LeBron James. So there's a chance that he could go to the Lakers. Yes. Are they going to win this year? If they get rid of everybody, are they going to win this year? I don't think they're going to win this year. I I mean, yes, it's LeBron, and LeBron is magic in the playoffs. 
We know that. But if they trade their whole team to get one player, they still have to they still have to get players back and they won't have enough players to actually play meaningful playoff basketball this season. Does that matter to LeBron at the end of the day? Probably not. I think they're going to be loaded up and they're going to get people who want to play for them next year where then they could build their powerhouse team and take down the Golden State Warriors, which is, I think, at the, the end game of the uh, of this whole drama. End of the day, if you ask me, I don't think the Lakers have the players that are good enough to trade for a player like Anthony Davis. Yes, I know. People are going to tell me about Kyle Kuzma and how good he is. That's fine. But you know what? He is not one-fourth of Anthony Davis. If you if you think of it like that, if you think he is one-quarter what Anthony Davis can bring to the table, which I know some people are going to try to compare numbers, he's not. The shooting percentage isn't there. The all-around, the 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 best fantasy league score point getter in fantasy league sports if you look at it in that perspective you guys cannot tell me that he that kuzma is one fourth of what anthony davis is so now understanding what one fourth is if you guys do understand this you will know that if you put him brandon ingram uh, Lonzo Ball and whatever fourth guy they want to choose, whatever fourth guy it is, because at this point, the Los Angeles Lakers are going to give the Pelicans anybody they can to get this player. Okay, those four players, any four players not named LeBron, not on that squad, is not even good enough to use as a piece. Of what you got back for Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis is just that good. Statistically, injuries suck. He's not he's he's not the most durable person. He's he's and you know, he he's hard. He's a, he's gonna be a hard guy when it comes to the health, a little bit of question mark sometimes. Um, he doesn't have a high winning percentage all around as a player in the NBA, but you know what? If you put that guy beside LeBron, I'm sure. It's going to be a gift. The dark horse that I think everybody wants me to talk about is the possibility of him going to to Toronto Raptors. It is very possible that he might get the major the 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 Raptor land the Raptor land love and become a Raptor. We're going to lose a lot of players for him. I don't mind losing those players at the end of the day if it's a OG, or if it's a, a Siakam and and a Valentunis, as much as I love Valentunis, the fact of the matter is I would get rid of all those guys and take an Anthony Davis. I would. I would have Anthony Davis. I would have Kawhi Leonard. I would have uh, Kyle Lowry, and I'll have two or three shooters and the best of what we have the bench left. The best of what's left in the bench is what I should say. I would take that. I would absolutely take that. So that's what I think is going to happen. Uh, I think I think he might end up with Toronto, the Toronto Raptors. Just know that after we leave in the championship and him and Kawhi Leonard leave, we're probably not going to win another championship again for the next 10 years. But I'm okay with that. So, um... Take it for what it is. This is my guess. I've documented this. So if you guys could tell me I'm wrong, then uh, if I'm ever wrong, you guys tell me I told you so. But I don't think you will because I'm usually right. So uh, that's what I think. Anthony Davis at the trade deadline is going to end up with the Toronto Raptors. Remember, I said it here first. <laughs>